guys welcome back to my channel once again and today we are going to talk about tesla's battery day which is the most awaited day of the year especially for tesla's shareholders and which is just tomorrow 22nd of september so in this video we'll be discussing about the speculations regarding the battery day so let's just jump right into the video Ah, but before we jump into the video, I request you guys to please hit and smash that like button and subscribe the channel if you haven't subscribed yet because the last channel had some complications so I had to reopen the channel and repost all the videos and therefore this is really important for me and because really amazing stuff is still yet to come. So now let's just go to the video. So the first speculation or let's say not exactly a speculation because this actually should be the main topic of Tesla's battery day and earlier this year electric already revealed Tesla's secret roadrunner project now what exactly the roadrunner project is so their roadrunner project is all about their own in-house designed battery cell manufacturing system which is actually done for increasing their production volume and to reduce the cost and actually this is where the roadrunner project is supposed to happen in this factory so this was actually revealed earlier this year by electric that tesla's secret roadrunner project which is actually a new battery production at hundred dollars per kilowatt hour so they are going to massively scale up this production so these new batteries are supposed to be twice as big as tesla's current 2170 cells which are currently used in model 3 and model y vehicles and they are doubling the diameter of battery cells which will result in four times the volume inside the cell so this means in short more energy per cell that means in turn more energy density and that also could be beneficial for long haul vehicles because with this they could actually travel more and that also could mean that the weight of the battery could be much more less and why all this because as we know that batteries are taking a considerable amount of space in tesla's vehicles and so reducing the cost of batteries could be actually really beneficial for their production cost because tesla's battery production cost plays quite an important role in its overall production cost and for example let's say in this case in case of tesla model 3 the battery cost can be as high as 27% of the total manufacturing cost. Now guys, this is quite a high percentage to be honest. So these high manufacturing and production cost has actually limited Tesla to go down on its price per vehicle. So cutting on these costs and making the batteries much more efficient can actually make, first of all, Tesla's car a bit cheaper plus much more efficient. And honestly guys, like we are seeing all these upcoming startups these days from the EV industry like Rivian, Lodstone Motors, Nikola, Lucidair, Fisker, these guys could be a potential competition for Tesla. Okay, I mean not a direct competition in the coming few years at least, but Tesla really has to pull up its socks and I guess Battery Day is one of such opportunities which can put Tesla front ahead again in the competition. Now there's another speculation involved when we talk about energy rich density batteries is that whether Tesla is using silicon nanowire anodes in its batteries or not because this technology has a much higher energy density than typical EV batteries but it has a drawback because since it is using silicon and silicon expands a lot during its discharge this can be really bad for the battery's life cycle and this brings us to our next point which is tesla's million mile battery so a million mile battery simply means that how long it can last in a car before breaking down and as the name says it means that the battery can last up to million miles and just to put things into perspective, an average EV car maker guarantees the lifespan of the battery up to 200,000 kilometers. And this is our second speculation about which Elon Musk might discuss or reveal its progress on the battery day because China's contemporary Ampress Technology Limited or CATL, which is actually a battery supplier for Tesla in China, confirmed earlier this year that it has a unit already prepared to run 1.24 million miles and this million mile battery could be a real value for the average driver because this enables benefits like aggressive charging longer range smaller sizes and eventually lower costs and moving on to our third speculation is the use of lfp cells in their vehicles and which also means a cobalt free battery 
So there are two classes of cells or batteries in general, one with iron phosphate or LFP and then there are nickel based batteries and nickel based cells have higher energy density that means much more mass efficient that means they can be used or can be much more efficient for longer range vehicles like the semi truck. But for the passenger vehicles they are planning to implement LFP. Okay, so now why to eliminate cobalt from the EV batteries because they do have a really high energy density which is a really good thing but the disadvantages which the cobalt mining involves actually outweighs this one single advantage. The first disadvantage is really high cost involved in the cobalt mining and the second and the most important thing is the unethical means which are involved in the cobalt mining and these unethical means are really not environmental friendly. So mined nickel and cobalt mineral supply is only available at a fraction of the scale of mined iron and phosphate supply. So that means iron and phosphate as minerals or metals are available in abundant as compared to nickel and cobalt and which makes nickel and cobalt much more expensive as well. And the most important thing guys is that with LFP there are reports that they have already achieved $80 per kilowatt hour at the back level which is already $20 less than the nickel based batteries and the LFP has further a potential to come down on the price because they are now nowhere near the mineral cost floor which means that LFP's mineral components which are phosphate and iron are so much in abundance like we already talked before or we saw before that even when almost all vehicles sold will be EVs in future there will be more than enough minerals to supply the batteries required. So that's it guys with this I conclude my video and these speculations might really affect the EV industry overall and could take Tesla to the next level. But with that being said the new share all the facts revealed on Tesla's battery day could be actually far away from the reality if you're talking about coming two to three years. But again, guys, we're talking about the stock market, which at this moment is also far away from reality. So I'm quite positive about the Tesla's stock price because the, after the battery day, the investors might get really hyped up and it might influence the investors in a positive way. And this could also influence the stock price in a positive direction. And this gives us another opportunity to play with the Tesla stock. I mean, not for the people who are planning to hold it for a long, longer time, but again, who look this as a trading stock, this might be your opportunity to trade the Tesla stock. So as a disclaimer, guys, I myself have bought three more shares of Tesla and I'm looking forward for the Tesla's battery day. And I would be planning to trade Tesla stock. I'm not planning to hold it for a longer time because like I said, I'm looking for much more uh, opportunities in the meantime so let's see what the future holds so that's it guys that's all for today i request you guys to be with me on this journey and continue this journey with me because there is like i said there is a lot of stuff which i have to share with you guys and yeah so that's all for today see you in the next one till then stay happy stay safe ciao